Okay, so welcome back, everyone, to the great, wonderful, fantastic uh, Cabela's Big Game Hunts, Pro Hunts, Meow, whatever hunts it is. Uh, the the big, <laughs> shocking, shocking discovery in the most shocking discovery in the world um, for Cabela's game. I mean, I still am having a hard time believing the fact that this is such a fun game, and you guys are loving watching it. So I uh, I will do. Um, you guys had kind of said um, that you do want to see my free hunts, even though they do take a little bit longer. So that I guess that'll just be part of it. It's just gonna be me doing a lot. I'll probably be a little bit quieter during some of those spots and take a little bit more time with it. But I mean, if you guys are liking the watching of it, then who am I to argue? If you guys uh, what you guys want to see, so. Um, but yeah, so first of all, let's do some, uh, did I even like pay attention to what I was doing here? I actually, so I, yeah, I killed Hogzilla. Um, hey. The flat and safe part of the riverbank is a great place for animals to come and drink from the river. So, it has been a little bit since I've played this, but right now there is, uh, I got this, so I got the, I killed Hogzilla. Got my, I got my compound. Oh. Killed Hogzilla. And now I am on my way right now to kill some deer because I need to be able to get some deer uh, skill in order to be able to, you know, meow the meow cats on these bad boys. I mean, look at this. Okay, so... Uh, I, mean, I can get up in this tree stand here and see. I mean, this is the uh, disgusting. This bow is so nasty, this recurve. The compound will probably be a little bit better. Uh, I think they're being a little bit suspicious. I mean, I got the wind right up my face here, so this is good. Oh, crap. Stay down, stay down. Okay, so I need to... Winnie my way over here to this tree stand. Make sure these guys don't spook. I guess I could just crawl on my belly up here. Could I actually shoot from my belly? Oh, yeah, that's kind of weird, but not really something you could actually do. <laughs> um, They're watching me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. How do I do that? Oh, whoops. Come on. Okay. This should be a good shot right here. This should be a good shot. Come on, come on. Yeah! Oh! Lungs? Lungs? Uh, okay, yeah, there's no way that's happening. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be. I guess I shot a little bit to the right there, so I couldn't. Ah, uh, crap. Oh well. Not the best shot, I'll tell you that. Not the best shot. We got a little bit of a trail going here. Yes, we do. So hopefully, I manage to sever some kind of artery or something like that. Is that the same deer? Is that him? Her? Sorry. I shot a doe, so. Let's see if I can sneak around here. The wind is still very favorable. Favorable? There's a stand up there. Oh, man. It's going to be noisy going through the water. Uh. I wonder why it was that I was so blatant in that area back there. Ugh, maybe it was the little bushes, like these little things I was going through, and they were like, oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. I'm almost certain this, this buck, or no, not the buck, the doe is bleeding through here. Oh, that was loud. That was real loud. One of those has got to be that doe. 
I really shouldn't be, be uh, bow hunting. The bow hunting, like, it seems that the arrows have, like, considerably higher rates of penetration than any of the any of the guns do. So, oh, there's the blood trail. So one of these could still be that doe. I don't see how that doe could survive running around with that arrow. Like, that arrow inside her like that, just thrashing around, would just cut her up. Cut her up real good. Okay. Track freshness 15 to 30 minutes away. Yeah, I know it was a good bit. I know it was a darn sure good bit. Let's see here. I'm sneaking up on these guys. Luckily, the wind is just beautiful for me right now. The wind is beautiful. I should have marked her. So that's what I am probably should be getting in the habit of doing is marking these deer because that's what puts me in the... Um, how do I do the... No. There we go. Seriously injured. <laughs> That's it. That's it right there. Well, let's see if I can get a shot in from over here. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh! No, ribs. Just ribs. Bunch of ribs. Bunch of ribs. Gash, dirt it. She would have been dead. Deader in a bag of hammers. You know, I could take more than one deer here, so. Okay, trophy's down. If I can get a better shot on whoever this is over here. Yeah, so she's probably hanging out up here where there's... there's... The wind. You don't want to be flat if you're yes, I know that, Jim. See if I can see her body anywhere. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, I'm going to see if I can't take another deer. Oh, this is going to be a good shot. Come on, get some lungs. Get some lungs. Oh, that was a bad shot. Oh, that was a bad shot. Hit the spine. You're either very lucky or an excellent shooter. <laughs> Maybe both. So that's the... The spine, yeah, that was that was very lucky, by the way, Jim. That was very lucky. I'm not going to tell him that, though. Uh, yeah, the whole thing is the spine is you don't really want to go for the spine, but it can work in your favor. Um, you can get really lucky and hit the spine, and it just goes down instantly. The spines usually are dead shots. Uh, not instant dead shots, but instant cripple shots. So it cripples the animal right away. Um, and that's kind of not what you want to go for, but in all uh oh there she is right there well thanks for your cooperation ma'am um you're a trophy for me all vitals missed yeah see the gear credits stupid gear credits stupid gear credits i'm never gonna be able to get any gear <laughs> yeah but what i was saying uh these fit 450 grain broadheads are actually really heavy. Um, usually when you're hunting 325, maybe uh, 300, 325 is usually what a broadhead is. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, you usually try and get them the same as your field points, and on average that's about 125, 150. Rarely do you see broadheads on a normal bow that go up above 200, 250 and stuff like that. You don't, because usually you don't shoot field tips that are more than uh, like 125, 145, and stuff. So, like, they've been making a lot of these smaller broadheads. So, 450 grains is a beast of a broadhead. I mean, you'd need a good heavy bow. You need a really stiff arrow because usually when you put a lot of weight up front, it uh, it limbers the arrow up a lot. So it's oh, that's a really nice trophy. That's a darn sure good. Yeah, I guess you get points for the spine. <laughs> you don't really want to.
One more trophy. Oh, crap. Crap scared him. <laughs> oh, it actually gives like a smoke trail there. Oh, man. Well, I'd say I might as well just hunt one more. Oh, what time is it? Eh, might as well check and see if that area over there. I mean, those deer are still up there, technically. Hanging a boot. Let's see if I can get, like, a monster shot here. Hey, what is that? Is that a buck? I'm going to watch them. They really want their water if they're coming back. I can't get a little better of a hiding spot here. I'll wait for a good shot where they... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get another buck here, but I'll be able to get another doe. I should have plenty of points after this one to hunt the... Why are they coming at me here? There we go. This should be a good shot. As long as it doesn't hit any bones. Oh. Stomach crap. Piece of garbage. In the future, angle your shot to miss the abdomen. A stomach wound is painful and can spoil the animal's meat. Yeah, that's I right. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. This could be interesting. This could be interesting. Oh! Oh! Headshots are risky business. A shot to the vital organs of the body is always a safer, cleaner option. Man, that poor deer. 